Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching The Haunting of Hill House. Season 1, episode 7. This episode is called Eulogy, so I'm guessing we're going to be getting Nell's funeral. And God knows what the fuck else um, in Hill House in that timeline. I've just um, released today on Patreon the full length reaction to episode 5. So that's a bonus. If you become a patron, you'll get access to, I believe, full length reactions for the rest of this season. I think it certainly feels warranted. I think the the show is so much happens now. Each episode, I'm I'm feeling really like under the cosh to edit. So it's actually really nice to be able to do that on Patreon and have people get the full breadth of the reaction. So if you want to become a patron, go to I'll put it down here and and sign up. And then you don't have to watch these little highlight versions on YouTube, you'll get the whole episode and it will be picture in picture for the whole episode. So you'll have, you'll be able to see what's going on in the show and me, just like on YouTube, but it will be the, the whole thing. Oh my God, that was so good. I really enjoyed episode six. I re I loved it. it. I think also that that episode is gonna grow on me over time as well. It felt like s there was so much going on and I feel like there were so many there were so many moments in it that you felt like you needed to see the other half of what was happening. You know, like, who is Hugh talking to? What was going on in the cupboard? Who is this guy that Shirley keeps seeing? Is anyone going to see now? Why is Stephen now seeing ghosts? Who's he going to see next? And why isn't it changing his behaviour? Well, it's just making it worse. So he's clearly scared of going mad. If he thinks seeing these ghosts means you've got a mental illness, then he must now be questioning his own sanity. I think that's why he was yelling at himself, you know, pull it together, pull yourself together. Because he, he sees it as his mind, you know, breaking. And I don't think it is at this point. I mean, unless they're all mad. Possible. But we're getting closer, like we're edging... I felt like in that last episode, we moved forward a lot. To have the dad give us the confirmation that something is going on and it's the house is a really big deal. I'm actually fresh off that episode. I I, I can't wait with this show now. It's too exciting. I just had to go and watch, and watch the next one. So um, I'm going to have a lot of reactions to edit um this week but i don't i don't care i just it's it's really moorish you know it's like a great book that you just can't put down that's how i feel about this show right now so yeah that's kind of where we are in fact i was just um i was chatting to pulsar 77 again sorry there are others of you it's just pulsar seems seems to give me, give me some really great messages at the moment but um yeah you know I, I don't even know if you're a guy or a woman pulsar tell me your real name tell me a bit about yourself I'd, I'd like to know who i'm talking to it's often you make assumptions based on like the way a you know a masculine or a feminine sounding name and i, I like i've been several times over surprised to find out that i've been relating to someone i've been misgendering them is the point so let me know so in my head um you're a guy i apologize if, if you're not a guy but Pulsar said, <laughs> did I notice in the Bent Neck Lady episode that um, Olivia was actually writing Welcome Home right to left? No, no, I didn't realise it, but I actually replayed it in my head when you said it. And I realised, oh my God, yeah, because she finished. She was coming across from the cum bit of it, wasn't she? And, she? and she did the W last. So she had to be writing it. Right to left. No, I didn't take that take that in at the time. But oh my god, you are right. That is another way they're messing with time in this program. And you know I'm all about that. I love a bit of space time woo woo stuff. It's like it's one of my favourite <laughs> my favourite things in shows. Like I'm so glad that like we started with the leftovers and that was woo woo and 
I feel like I'm getting really lucky with having at least one show at any point that I'm reacting to. It's got a bit of woo-woo in it. I really like it. I, I almost to the point now where I'm sort of a little bit sad if it's just a straight up and down program. Because I'm like, where's my woo-woo? Anyway, now I've said woo-woo about ten times, I think we can get into the reaction. So let's have at it. You're going to go straight into the music again. Yeah. I hate it. I love it. But, you know what I mean. It scares the crap out of me. Again, thank you for doing this voluntarily. I got to get back to my kids. Kids are fine. I just checked on them. They're with Aunt Janet. Janet. You know, you can leave whenever you want. I told you that, right? You know, I've told you that. Yes. It's just... <sighs> to be honest, it wouldn't look so good. Pause. Never do this. Never do this. Always a lawyer. That doesn't matter whether you're innocent or guilty, whatever. Lawyer up. It's my advice. I've listened to enough true crime podcasts to know. <laughs> Look at me. Little Judge Judy over here. Anyway, play. I'm not under arrest. Oh, no. Then go. And we haven't talked about the other That body. didn't have anything to do with us. Of course not. But you can fix it right here. You like to fix things. Wait. You're good at fixing things. I keep Pause. hearing. The other body? Did he just say the other body? So you'll stay. And we'll talk. Yeah? Talk about the house, talk about Olivia. Talk about what happened last night. What are you going to tell him? Well, there was this ghost. I was following her in the house and she disappeared through walls. And then a big window smashed. Why? What's wrong with it? Oh, God. Well, you know, it's a rental. Not a lot of choices. That's the best time. Uh, it's the only time that goes with your right foot. You're right. It's better. Who is he talking to? Kevin's on his way. We'll take the four. That's fine. There just better be four bouquets of calla lilies for him when he lands, or you can forget about doing business with us ever again. Um, Ugh. can we please talk? You need to pick up four bouquets. Okay, I'll go in a minute, but can we just... You're already on your way. I have to shower and change my clothes. I mean, I didn't bring any of my... Okay. God, it's going to be a tough day around you, Shirley. I don't know where she gets that from. Knew it. Since she was three years old, Shirley needed... Shirley Space. Today especially. Never seen a storm make a mess like this. We really missed you guys? A little rain, that was all. What? See? That was not a nice noise. Mark it. No way all this came from a storm. No, no way. Busted pipe, most likely. It shouldn't be. Really shouldn't be. I can fix it. What's that smell? That is a smell of ruin. Mold. I thought we saw something in the background. It means we got water pooling all the way down here, three floors down. That's really bad. Mother <sighs> Father Mucker. <laughs> No. Yep. Could we not? Could we fucking not, please? Do you hear that? Why? Maybe rats. Could be what happened to the pipes. When rats get thirsty enough, they'll shoot through just about anything. (gasps) 
This could ruin us. I fucked up last night, Daddy. I mean, I really... I fucked up. I'm sorry. I should have made more of an effort with you. Wow. People fuck up. I guess you don't get that. You don't really get it. Until you fuck up. No. Ain't not the truth. And this doesn't have to do with Steve's money, does it? Wait! She's not si- No. Is I didn't expect that. Gotta start somewhere. Wow. The parlor, library, and then, then the pooling in the basement, there are what? veins of it, veins of mold that are spreading from somewhere on the third floor. I, it, it's all over. Well, that, that doesn't make sense. I, the, the water lines I know. don't even. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of a, a, a water source that explains it's spreading like. It's the house. Well, I can't flip this house if it's rotting with mold. And if I can't flip it in a couple of months. I, I, I know, I know, here I know, and... I know. I will, um, I'll combine these plans into one master blueprint. Uh, Draw up something that represents the actual piping, and then we'll find out how fucked we really are. <laughs> Everyone needs a partner like that. Oh God, it's so bad between them. Can it not even stop for a bit? His sibling's funeral. We were solid, babe. We were. Those last few days don't count. That wasn't us. I can't wait to find out what the fuck is going on. For the hangover, mix beer and tomato juice and power it down. Does it work? You're not as well as a shot of smack. <laughs> so you're saying the best hangover remedy is heroin? By a mile. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? She did! Oh, yes, she did! No, she did! Yes, she did! No, she did! Yes, she did, Peter! I just saw it! All right, take it. What are you doing here? My sweet boy. Janet. Are you Janet? None of none of us should be here. I, I know what you mean. That mold guy telling me there's no rats down here. What a pro, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna add some strychnine to the shopping list. Strychnine? It's rat poison. Huh, look at this. Green men, hard at work. I have a present for you. Good job, honey. I cannot say, and I will not say, that she is dead. Think of her still as the same, I say. She's not dead. She's just away. She's not away. She's probably in that room, right yes. If anyone wants to say a few words. <clears throat> anyone? Trish? Oh, Luke. I was born 90 seconds before no. Yeah, I'd say I, I was the oldest, so she had to do what I said. And <laughs> and she, she, she let me get away with it. <laughs> I mean, even though she knew it was bullshit. The, the last time I saw her, she, um, she was driving me to rehab. Oh, God. She looked at me and she said, 
You go in there, and you bring my brother back. Bring my brother back. I was born 90 seconds before no. But she was always my big sister. If you could take another look for a key to that red room upstairs, I could really use it. She's no key dying. The missus do these? Yeah. Probably ain't my place. But maybe she could use a little time away from the house. I think you might be right. It's probably not your place. Ooh. You know, my, my mother worked in this house. I was actually born here. What? But my mom, she'd come home uh, sometimes after a long shift or a night shift. And she'd be scattered, you might say. Scattered? Towards the end, she'd wander into the woods at night barefoot. And I swear I could hear her out there, giggling like a schoolgirl in love. Oh, out there Lord. in the cold, talking low, like to a suitor. And she'd sleep out there sometimes, too, so yeah. Scattered. I see. So mom died, and, um, Clara got pregnant. Our first real, real blessing. So the day comes, the doc comes, and, uh, my little girl's stillborn. Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> but the nightmares she had. And Clara is a brave woman. And these nightmares, they had her down in a corner. Shaking so bad, I thought she'd seize up dead. God, I'm sorry. So one night, she's cleaning the master bedroom up there. This is before Hazel passed. She's cleaning Hazel's room. And, uh, she hears a, a, a baby crying. Here's another rooms, too. And she goes looking and looking. And I mean, I thought she was losing her damn mind. But it rattled her so good. She ran home oh through the woods, no light, scratched her face to ribbons on the branches. My God. So I came back here with her one night and. I'll be damned, but I heard it too, and I. And I, I knew. That was my first little girl's cry. That, that first cry, the one she never got to. Oh my God. So, we stopped coming here after dark. But here's the thing, it worked. Yeah, it's not my place. But if you find your missus is acting scattered, then, yeah, maybe a little time away would do the trick. From the house, I mean. I take your point. Shit! Pools! Oh my god! This show is so good with the monologues. We have the, like Mr. Dudley has said fuck all in this t entire show. And that's one of the best monologues in the whole thing. I was absolutely terrifying. So that's why they're not there. Okay. I'm starting to believe they might be real people now. I really needed that conversation. And I'm also thinking, oh my god, is Abigail like there? I'll find out.
but i want to see what she drew i really want to see what she drew